Sloan, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Good. So one of my top five things of being a runner would probably be the importance of having moisture wicking materials against your skin. Uh, definitely a good pair of shoes and a good pair of socks that are going to be either synthetic or a wool, like Smart Wool or um, Belega or any of the other companies that will be making a moisture wicking material for your foot. Interested in getting some running shoes, what should I know? Um, when you come to Rogue Valley Runners or any specialty running shop, what we like to do is take a look at your feet, see what your arches and your ankles are doing to see if they're rolling in or rolling out or staying neutral. Um, and by talking to anybody at the store here, we can do a gait analysis on the treadmill and just see what your foot needs depending on your foot strike and your pronation level. Great. <laughs> And what shoes do you have to show us here? So I've got a couple examples of something if your foot was over pronating, which means your foot is rolling in and your arch is collapsing a little bit. You want a shoe with a little bit of extra support on the arch. It's going to keep your foot from rolling in and kind of just encourage your foot to be more in a neutral path. Um, this is the Asics 20, the Asics Keanu. Um, and then I have the Brooks Glycerin, which is just going to be a neutral cushioning shoe. It's going to keep your foot going in the same path that it's already going. So if you're not over pronating um, or if you're supinating, which is when your foot's rolling out, this would be a better option for you. So you can see the difference. It has some darker foam on the arch, which is a denser foam. And then um, the neutral shoe doesn't have a different colored midsole. It just um, is the same all the way through. So Sloan, after you just ran three miles, you're now on the elliptical? Yeah, I need to cross train, work out some, some of the kinks and just keep moving for a little bit longer. What muscles do these strengthen? Um, you're going different directions, your quads, your calves, you go backwards, usually more like your glutes and your lower back, I think. And how does that help you with running? Just take some of the impact off. I, um, I tend to have a hard time if I up my mileage, I will end up hurting myself sometimes. So just to keep, to keep some of the impact off of my joints. Probably just hydration the day before is always really important. You want to make sure your body's hydrated. Um, and then just listening to your body while you're running, speed up, you know, go with what feels good and um, finish strong.